We are honored today to have with us award-winning novelist Robert James Waller. His latest novel is High Plains Tango. Robert, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. It's very nice to be here. You write in the end note that this book ties in with two of your other novels. What is the connection? The connection is very simple and it's very linear. Uh, in uh, The Bridges of Madison County, we deal with Francesca Johnson and Robert Kincaid. In A Thousand Country Roads, I introduce Carlisle McMillan, who is the illegitimate son of Robert Kincaid. And now in High Plains Tango, we focus on Carlisle McMillan and uh, his life. Your story takes place in the small fictional town of Salamander, South Dakota. Why did you choose this type of setting for your book? It's easy for me to make that kind of choice because I'm a country boy. I grew up in a town of 900 people in Iowa. I understand how the people talk and walk and think, uh, the whole culture. Your main character, Carlisle McMillan, moves to Salamander for its tranquility. That's soon shattered by plans to build a highway through his property. What inspired you to tell this story? This comes right out of an experience I had where I fought to keep an interstate highway from going through a game preserve, a lovely small preserve that I haunted a lot uh, when I wanted peace and quiet and tranquility. So a small group of people, four or five of us, took the highway project on. We had to fight the federal government, we had to fight the state government, with local governments, we fought business people and contractors, and we won. We got the route of the highway changed. That doesn't happen very often. You paint a mental picture of buttes, flames, winds, and snow sweeping across the plains. Why are these images important to your story? I'm quite taken by the big spaces and how they operate on your mind. And I find uh, great beauty in spareness uh, and contrast. Uh, so uh, I, I tend to, to put a lot of my books in those kinds of, of places where the highways seem endless and the storms can be seen from 50 miles out. You speak of the Native American princess Sayala in the book. How does she figure into your story? Sayala is the protectress of the native burial grounds, the entire area near Carlisle McMillan's house. If you're going out to fuss around in that area, you might, have, might run into her, the, the spirit of her. And apparently she's pretty powerful. Carlisle McMillan pursues fatherly love from several men in his life. How does his quest play into the story? He grows up without a father. And it's a long struggle for him to define himself as a man. But he finally does it uh, through trials and tribulations, which is the way I suppose most men do. I especially liked the wisdom and spirituality of Susanna Benteen. How did you develop this wonderful character? Susanna Benteen is one of my favorite all-time characters. She went through a number of evolutions. She came off uh, sometimes a little too straight, sometimes new agey and I didn't want either of those. So I finally got her just right, I think. At least everyone who's read the book says so. And every woman who has read this book has told me, Robert, I want to be Susanna Benteen. High Plains Tango is a must read for anyone who enjoyed The Bridges of Madison County or A Thousand Country Roads. It's a wonderful story full of intrigue, mysticism, and romance, and it should not be missed. So pick up your copy today and read the book.